hey guys welcome back to my channel it's Oma Shewa again for Swan Beauty um, thank you for always being there today's look is a simple everyday look with some nude products so I'm starting off very fast with Tara eye primer and I'm using that all over my lid just to prepare my eyelid for the eyeshadow I'm going in with this Tara uh, pink color from the Tara Trio palette. Um, the Trio palette is called Lewy. Um, I'm just using that for the transition color just to add a bit of color on uh, my crease. And I'm going in with this Milani baked eyeshadow in the outer corner of my eyelid, you know, to create a sharp V because this look is majorly a cut crease look. I'm using my NYX Jumbo Milk Pencil on my eyelid just to make sure that the color pops, you know, properly on my eyelid. And I'm using my finger to blend it out properly. Going in again with this nude color from the Trio uh, palette uh, from Tara called Lewy. I'm just using that all over my main eyelid and that's my main color. So I'm going to make sure that I concentrate the color on my eyelid. Like I said, this look is a nude look and it should work for an everyday look. Um, so, But I'm just making it a cut crease look just so that it doesn't look all so nude and all, you know, flat. That's why I'm making it a cut crease. Going in with the uh, baked eyeshadow from Milani, I'm using a, you know, I'm using a flat uh, angled brush. I'm just using that to define, you know, my eye socket area, you know, just to create some definition from my crease. And I'm doing that from the outer corner to the inner corner of my eyes and just generally, you know, blending, blending it out to create some depth right there, you know. So, I'm picking up a brush with no color to blend everything out so that I don't look like a panda, you know. So I'm just using my finger and the brush to blend everything out properly so that it looks seamless and well blended. I'm going in with the color I used to apply my transition uh, color, uh, with the brush I used to apply my transition color and just using that to, you know, work it out properly. That my hair keeps getting in the way i don't know i just needed to get that out and i felt the color was too much so i went in with a color a brush that has no color on it and then just use that to wipe out the excess of the base color now you all know me with the milani liquid eye you know so that's what i used on my waterline and this is um anastasia beverly eels uh, gel eyeliner just using that to define my eyes as I normally do but not creating any extra wing just just defining my eyes normally and then I'm going to go in with the lashes that's going to be done off camera um, my eyelash adhesive is white though it comes out and dries out clear so you're going to see that in a minute and that's done right now i'm applying my foundation um i'm using one from bm pro it's uh, called the face creator I'm just using that all over my face with my finger and then i'm buffing it out with a foundation brush as you all know me i'm not a fan of lots of foundation and this look is majorly you know like I said, an everyday look is that it doesn't need so much, you know, foundation or so much color. So I'm just using the foundation all over my face, making sure it gets to the right areas it should get to. Blending to my neck, my forehead, my jaw lines. You know, this hair keeps getting in the way. I really don't know why. Yeah, well, it's a fringe style. 
so i'm making sure that everything blends seamlessly i just need enough foundation to make my face a uniform color and then i'll continue from there so right now i'm going in with my um concealer this is you know the hd concealer from la girl cosmetics um just using that on those areas we normally apply just to highlight my nose my forehead chin and just under my cheekbones lightly okay blending it out right now with a beauty a damp beauty blender just doing that very fast you know nothing too serious nothing that you all don't know about so you don't need to go over this anymore okay right now I'm applying um, Ben Nye banana powder right on the areas where I use the concealer just to set it um, under my eyes my chin nose forehead you know and I'm blending everything out right now I'm also picking a brush to just blend it out properly and make sure it's well distributed So right now I'm just going to add extra dimension to my face, you know, by using uh, a bronzer right, you know, on my chin area, forehead, and my nose bridge. Nothing serious, you know, just making sure I add dimension. I'm using this lip pencil called Urban by NYX, you know, that's my go-to pencil right there. And my all-time favorite nude lipstick called a doshi from house of tara i'm using that all over my lip it's a nude lipstick that i really love and then i'm using this you know nude lip gloss from fashion fair also all over my lips just to add some gloss and i'm not going to go without some blush to add some extra color to my face nothing extraordinary but you know just to give my face the plush that it needs okay and you know you guys know I love some highlighters so a very sheer highlighter on you know the upper part of my cheekbone just very sheer and my nose area for this look like I said it should look natural and seamless because it's an everyday look and it's nude so nothing too colorful and then I'm just gonna go in with my MAC mineralized skin finish powder all over my face just to blend everything out and I think that says it for this look I hope you enjoyed how fast and simple this went um, if you're able to recreate this look, let me know. Um, this time, I want to use this opportunity to say thank you to my newest subscribers on this channel. I'm, I'm not going to be able to mention names because I have so many new subscribers that I won't be able to mention all the names. So, I'd rather just say thank you to everyone and I appreciate you for always being there. To the old subscribers, I say that I love you all and you guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel make sure you do before you leave thank you very much for watching bye